Hey guys, this is Mama Made. This is my small CVS haul for the week of October the 27th through November the 2nd, 2019. I cannot believe we are already talking about November. This is just crazy to me. Um, but anyway, there are some good deals at CVS, but um, this is just what I picked up. I really wasn't feeling it this week. I didn't want to spend a lot of out-of-pocket either, so I just did these small deals. Um, didn't end up working out the way I wanted to, but anyway um so the ensure is just something that my mom asked me to get when i can so it's a pretty good deal on it if this is something you need if it's not something you need um, i would just go ahead and skip it but i like to include things like this um if it's something you need or maybe your parents need or something like that or if you're a caretaker so they are 10.29 at my store buy two get back five and then we also got five off of two in the sunday smart source 10.27 so it's 10.58 for both of them. So it's pretty much like 50% off. They're five something a piece. Um, so that's a good enough deal for her. And she's used to paying like eight to nine bucks at Giant or Walmart. So um, yeah, too bad I didn't have a CVS CRT, but that would have worked out really good. So the next one, everyone should be able to do this deal. They are three for three, get back a dollar. Use the dollar off three that printed last week. Um, for everybody and then that makes it a dollar or 33 cents each and these are actually going to be for Sorry about that guys kids are playing <laughs> These are actually going in my husband's stocking and this is going to be for a friend So I'm already trying to stock up on Christmas and uh, stocking stuffers I just have to hide them from him or he will just eat them and then they won't be around at Christmas time so the last two guys this actually worked out really strange. So I did the Ensure and the candy in one transaction. And then I tried doing this one in my second because I wanted to spend like least out of pocket. I'm really trying to not fork out so much money every time I go to a store. Even though I'm getting money back, I'm just trying to cut down on that. So anyway, the Schick is spend 25, get back 10. This Hydro 5 ring up uh, for $11.99 and then the disposable Hydro 5 is $13.49. I used two of the $3, $3 off. One was for disposable and one was for the razor or refill. $3 off from the Smart Source 1013. Now I had a $3 off any Chic Hydro CVS coupon that was loaded to my card. That did not work. Um, so that was not, I was really counting on that $3 to work. Uh, so I also had a five off of 20 any shaving CVS coupon that I had loaded to my card and really strange um, There was a four off of ten any dial body wash coupon. That was a CVS coupon It was attaching to this product But since my total was three dollars and like 86 cents or something um, I don't know it's something like that The four dollar was rejecting then once the guy would hit pay so I don't know why that was attaching. I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. If you have that coupon, for some reason, it's attaching to this Chic product or maybe it's these specific ones. I don't know. But anyway, if I would have had something else in my transaction, that would have came off for me. Um, so I ended up paying $4.48, which is too much to pay for razors. But I pay with extra care bucks and I don't know how they're going to do that return if I would return it. So I think I'm just gonna swallow this one and um, deal with this extra cost, unfortunately. CVS gives me some overage and stuff, so I'm just gonna take this one as a loss. Um, and then another thing I was gonna say is, uh, sometimes the cashiers just are too busy, I guess. And I walk up to the register to check out and the guy sees me coming. He's done this to me before. I saw him looking at me and he kind of just stood there. He was getting ready to walk back, I guess. I don't know if he's going to help hang up the tags or what. But he saw me. And then he waited until I walked up to the register. Then he turned around and he was like, oh, crap. And then I was like, oh, my word. Are you kidding me? And then he barely said anything to me the whole time. So I don't know what this guy's deal is. This is his job to check me out. Um, and check other people out. So he, there's some people behind me that I let go because I was doing two transactions. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what his problem was. He was nice and friendly to them, but uh, thankfully the manager was called up and he took care of me for my second transaction. So I don't know, I just tried to be nice to him, but he still just, I guess he knows I have coupons and he's too busy to 
do his job. I don't know. But anyway, guys, a little story time for you. Don't let them get to you if you have cashiers like that. Sometimes they're just having a bad day. But anyway, see you guys in the next one.